And now it's time for Fizz Pop Super Trivia Brain Bash. And here's your host, Fizz Pop. Thank you, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're too kind. I hope you're ready to play some trivia, but not just any trivia. No, no. This is going to be some hardcore golden age comic book trivia. And I'm not going to ask you any wishy-washy questions about issue numbers or what issue someone appeared in for the first time. No, no. You're going to really have to know your stuff because I'm going to ask you some really hardcore questions here. It's appropriate that we begin the first brain bash with a couple of Superman questions. Superman, as I hope most of you know, was created by teenagers Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster in 1938 for Action Comics No. 1, and that was the start of the golden age of comics. And my question to you is, what was Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster's relationship? Were they A, cousins, B, uncle, nephew, C, school chums, D, next door neighbors? Let's put 15 seconds on the clock, and here we go! Time's up. The answer is A. They were cousins. They were cousins. Next question. Going to do another Superman question here. As everyone knows, Superman is set in the city of Metropolis, but early on, that was not the case. My question to you is, early Superman stories are set in what real North American city? Is the answer A. Chicago, B. Detroit, C. Cleveland, D. Toronto? 15 seconds on the clock starting right now. Time's up. The answer is C, Cleveland. The first Superman stories were set in Cleveland. Jerry Siegel lived in Cleveland, and his cousin Joe Schuster lived in Toronto, and they uh, actually created and worked on Superman during family visits. Okay, we're going to do one more Superman question. Listen carefully. In 1939, DC Comics, for the first time, took another publisher to court for publishing a copycat clone of Superman. My question to you is, what character did DC Comics claim violated their Superman copyright? Was it A, Captain Marvel, B, Captain Apollo, C, Amazing Man, D, Wonder Man? 15 seconds on the clock, starting right now. If you said A, Captain Marvel, guess what? You're wrong. That well-publicized copyright lawsuit began a few years later. The first lawsuit was over D, Wonder Man. I've been wanting to do a video on this character for a long time, and the DC Comics Victor Fox War is legendary. And someday I'll get around to it. I've heard a lot of crazy stories about Victor Fox over the years, and I think a lot of people would get a kick out of them. It's time to change it up, but we're going to stick with some Golden Age DC Comics questions. Here we go. The Justice Society of America was the very first superhero team, and they made their first appearance in All-Star Comics number 3 in 1940. My question to you is, who is the first leader or chairman of the JSA? Was it A, the Green Lantern, B, the Flash, C, Hawkman, D, Dr. Fate? 15 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Hanging in there? How do you feel about these questions? Are they too easy? Too hard? Uh, eh, time's up. The answer is B, The Flash. I believe at the end of the first JSA story, he is nominated and accepts the position of chairman. One last question for this round of Super Trivia Brain Bat. For the Brain Bash. Brain, brain Bash. Super Trivia Brain Bash. So uh, why not? Let's make it a Batman question. What do you say? Bob Kane was the co-creator of Batman. And for decades, as most of you know, he took all the credit, denying the contributions of Bill Finger and Jerry Robinson. In addition to not being a very good collaborator, he was not a good artist. 
He often copied or traced drawings of better illustrators, and he did this from the beginning with the first appearance of Batman in Detective Comics 27. My question to you is, what artist and strip did Bob Kane swipe from to create that iconic Detective 27 cover? Was it A. Hal Foster on Tarzan, B. Alex Raymond on Flash Gordon, C. Milton Kniff on Terry and the Pirates, D. Ray Moore who drew the Phantom? 15 seconds on the clock, let's go! And while you're pondering this question, if you like this format, let me know in the comments section. Uh, I'd love to hear some feedback on it. I dreamed up this idea a few weeks ago at a bar during Trivia Night. I have no idea how viewers will react or people will respond to it. Some people may love it, some people may think it's an incredible waste of time, and it's the dumbest idea I've ever had. Either way, let me know. Okay, time is up. And the answer is B, Alex Raymond on Flash Gordon. And here you can take a quick look and compare the two drawings. Okay, how did you do? Let's take a look at the scoreboard. If you got five right, that puts you at the Lex Luthor level. Four correct makes you Vandal Savage. Three right answers puts you at the Joker level. Two correct answers has you at the Clayface level. And one or zero means that you are Solomon Grundy. So, how did you do? Let me know in the comments section. Did you know your stuff? By the way, this is the first time I've tried doing trivia. Let me know what you think. Uh, were the questions too hard? Was it too easy? Is this a dumb idea? Give me some feedback. Let me know. And if you liked it, please hit the like button. And finally, uh, check out my Teespring store. Get some Golden Age grooviness. You can get a great t-shirt and help support the channel. That's it for me. So until next time, stay super. Bye.